Hi, Chris Hadfield here on the International Space Station inside the cupola. I hope you're enjoying all the pictures we've been taking. It's not uh, Instagram, it's Spaceagram. Let me show you how we take these pictures. We orbit 400 kilometers above the Earth, so if you want to get a good detailed picture of something, you need a long lens. This is the big one, 400 millimeters of many pieces of glass so we can focus on what's going on in the world. Three important things when you take a picture from space. Focus, frame, and fire. Typically, uh, the light from the Earth is very bright. Of course, space is very black. The camera gets confused if you mix the two. So often, we'll set it to manual. One of the most striking parts of the world is the Sahara. Huge, barren, colorful rock. No vegetation covering it up. You can see all the textures and varying shades of the world. The Sahara is beautiful. We're coming up on it now. Look at some beautiful little clouds just on the coast. The brown and blue of Africa. We are going around the world at 8 kilometers a second. The sun and the earth are sort of in a fixed geometry, but we're moving. So the angle between us and the sun and the earth is changing, and therefore the reflection of the sunlight changes. We get a sun glint off the surface. And you can see water on the surface so nicely in the sun glint. You pick out rivers and lakes and ponds. You can follow a whole river as the sun glints along it. Something that you could barely see normally. And then the angle changes and it, it's as if someone turned the lights off in the river and it wakes up. The beauty of Space Station is though, if it's not here this time, tomorrow it might be. Or maybe next week, or maybe a month from now. There's not a race to get a picture. You can be patient.